1966 Pakistani or use a QR code to join our Facebook group at https colon double forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash 32913646414908 Slide 1. Introduction question. What is a Canadian student visa? Answer. A Canadian student visa, officially known as a study permit, is a document issued by the Canadian government that allows foreign nationals to pursue academic studies in Canada at designated learning institutions, DLIs. Slide 2. Eligibility criteria question. Who is eligible for a Canadian student visa? Answer. To be eligible. You must have an acceptance letter from a DLI, demonstrate financial stability to cover tuition and living expenses, prove you have no criminal record, and pass a medical examination. Slide 3. Application process question. How do I apply for a Canadian student visa? Answer. Apply online or through a paper application. Pay the application fee. Submit the required documents including a valid passport and proof of acceptance, and wait for a decision. Slide 4. Processing time question. How long does it take to process a Canadian student visa? Answer. Processing times vary, but on average, it takes about three to four weeks. It's advisable to apply well in advance of your intended program start date. Slide 5. Financial requirements question. What are the financial requirements for a student visa? Answer, you must demonstrate you can cover tuition, living expenses, and return transportation. The minimum amount required depends on your program duration and location. Slide 6, work opportunities question, can I work while studying in Canada? Answer, yes, you can work on or off campus during your studies, up to 20 hours per week. During scheduled breaks, you can work full-time. This can help you support yourself financially. Slide 7. Post-graduation work permit question. What is a post-graduation work permit? PGWP. Answer. The PGWP allows you to work in Canada after completing your studies. Its duration depends on the length of your program, ranging from 8 months to 3 years. Slide 8. Renewing your student visa question. How do I renew my student visa? Answer. Apply for an extension before your current permit expires. Ensure you remain enrolled as a full-time student and maintain satisfactory academic progress. Slide 9. Co-op and internship programs question. Can I participate in co-op or internship programs? Answer. Yes, you can. However, your program must be eligible, and you must apply for a co-op work permit in addition to your study permit. Slide 10. Health insurance question. Is health insurance mandatory for international students? Answer. Yes, health insurance is mandatory in most provinces. Some institutions include it in their fees, while others require you to purchase coverage separately. Slide 11. Immigration and biometrics question. Do I need to provide biometrics for my application? Answer, yes, most applicants need to provide biometrics. Schedule an appointment at a visa application center to provide fingerprints and a photo. Slide 12, bringing family members question, can I bring my family members with me? Answer, yes, you can apply for your spouse or common law partner and dependent children to accompany you. They will need their own permits. Slide 13. Post-arrival responsibilities question. What are my responsibilities after arriving in Canada? Answer. Attend your classes regularly. Follow the conditions of your permit. Keep your documents valid. And update your contact information with the authorities if it changes. Slide 14. Resources and support question. Where can I find more information and support? Answer. Explore the official immigration website, contact your DLI's International Student Office, and connect with fellow international students. Seek guidance from the Canadian government's resources for a smooth transition and stay. Slide 15. 
Will immigration officers at the port of entry in Canada ask for an enrollment letter before they issue a study permit? You have received many wrong answers. I apologize for all the Canadians who are giving you incorrect information about your study permit. When you are approved for a study permit, you submit your passport for a visa. That is not a study permit. When you received your decision letter from IRCC it clearly told you that your study permit will be issued at the Canadian port of entry. It tells you what date you must arrive by and to bring your supporting documents. Your supporting documents are the decision letter from IRCC, called a port of entry introduction letter, your letter of acceptance from your DLI and your updated proof of funds. Then the border agent will issue your study permit. Here is a sample of the port of entry introduction letter you receive from IRCC. Applied Linguistics Group uploaded this video. The founder has a PhD in Applied Linguistics to Seoul and has a postdoc fellowship abroad. Join Applied Linguistics Group at youtube.com forward slash at 1966 Pakistani or use a QR code to join our Facebook group at https colon double forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash 32913646414908384.